All right, hello everybody. We got a bit of a scuffed setup here, but don't worry about that. We got some brand new trading cards. Uh, let's open them up and see what they look like. Now, oh, I think there's there's actually two packs in here. What the? Okay, so this is the super. Ooh, okay, superhero pack. Wow. Okay, this is great art. First impressions. So far, so good. I'm liking a giant eight power and superhero. Okay. Uh, let's open up Giant 8 Power first. Uh, I'll have a comparison on the screen, when I don't bonk the screen, of the uh, first test pack and we'll see how that looks. So let's open this up if I can figure out how to open it. <laughs> Alright, managed to get it here. He's got his socials there as well. Shout out to Greg Dahl for sending me this. Much thanks, my guy. Already feels great, this does. Already feels amazing. Let's open it up. It's a little, it's a tad bit difficult to open these, but at the end of it, it's all worth it. There you go. Whoa, hold up. Hold up. So as you can see, the back of it, before we get into it, the back of it has all the information, like hidden potential and whatnot. Nice QR code to a, I think it's a DVD, not DVD space, Dolcon info page. And that's the identifier there. So previously, we had a Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta card. Just a regular one in a test print. Again, I'll have that on screen somewhere here. And uh, this is holographic, I believe. This is a nice finish. I really like the look of this. That needs a sleeve immediately. Oh, it just immediately reveals Gogeta. How does that look? Just looking at this, it looks fantastic. I have to say, this has done a really great job with the whole metallic feel. I rate these ones out of 10. Yeah, I'll give him a 10, I think. All the information is nice. He's got that cool new identifier. Seventh anniversary. Of course, that's great. Ah, now this one, keep in mind this is a giant eight power pack. So this seems to be just a regular card here and Vegeta there as well. I like the feel of these cards. They seem to have improved the design slightly. Design wise, obviously similar to the test print, just a little bit more clean, a bit more polished. Always gotta love when Super Saiyan 3 gets some love. I like that, that's very nice. We've got Vegeta here. I wonder if he's got the actual giant eight cards. We'll see if we can find it. Uh, that's Super Saiyan Goku there. Check that out. Nice HD clean finish there. And just has the Dokkan Festival exclusive logo there. B001, that's the identifier for this pack. It does look good. And we have his accompanying Vegeta there as well. They do look nice, don't they? They do look nice. So far, so good. I'm enjoying this. These are great cards so far. I need to find them some sleeves that are big enough immediately. Ooh. Okay, not a new LR card. AGL Super Saiyan 4 Goku, uh, Extreme Z Awaken, of course, because he did Easy 8 on the 7th seven, anniversary. The 4th anniversary logo there as well. All the identifier tags, everything looks very clean. This is, has to be a very nice side. I'm assuming this here is Vegeta. Yes. Just looking at them, they look pretty clean. Even without the holographic finish, they still look very nice for their cards. Who are the last couple of cards here? Now this is surprising. Farewell Goku. Support memory? Really? And there's Gogeta there as well, can't forget him. Dokkan Festival exclusive. He does look good. And no real identifiers there, just that. Wow, okay. I didn't expect this. That is a nice addition to the Giant Egg Pack. I think out of 10, this whole pack, I mean, there's not much you can do to improve it because it all looks fantastic. Um, except maybe adding on some heroes cards. As you can see, these holographic cards are actually slightly bigger than the regular ones. Yeah, for comparison, I, I, I think they are, yeah, they are. But um, does look great. I'll, I'll give it a 10, honestly, because what more can you do? This looks fantastic, this holographic, or metallic finish, I should say. That's that. Let's open up the superhero pack and see what it looks like. Okay, here we go. Again, Chris finish. I think this is a promotional pack, yeah, P001, yeah. An interesting New York edition. I think that's New York edition. I think that's what it means. Well, let's open it. And yeah, I think I figured out pretty much how to open these. Now, what's the first? Oh. Oh. <laughs> 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 Playable beast. <laughs> this is one of the surprise cards here, but uh, I'm just going to turn it around because I want to not well, in fact, you know what, there's no point to that anyway, because look at that. Look at that clean shine, the beast mode. 
This this is, I don't know, I take it back. This is my favorite card. That looks phenomenal, that does. And of course, also, does that look like finish as well? It does. That looks great. And of course, our boy Piccolo here. Wow. Right, let's, let's, let's review the ultimate Gohan here real quick. That looks, that looks really nice. I li it looks like actual lightning effects on it. Dice attack. Interesting, no superhero logo here, but I guess there's a, probably a good reason for that. Yeah, just full additional. <laughs> nice. He does look good though. This has to be my... I, I knew there had to be a Beast Gohan card. That is amazing. Yeah, the, the holographic, this metallic finish, really suits both of them. I'm very impressed with them. Yeah, that was the superhero pack, and that was the giant egg power pack. Honestly, my favorite cards have to go to Beast Gohan and Gogeta here because they both look phenomenal with this finish. I didn't expect it to be a Gohan pack, but my god, does it look amazing. Two packs as a whole, they look fantastic. Uh, I'm really impressed with them. I'll give each a 10 because what, what more can you do to improve it, honestly? But that was my review of the brand new Dokkan trading card. Shout out to Greg Dorr, check him out in the description. Thank you very much. Have yourselves a fantastic one and see you around.